Okay, so for some reason, I had three fuel pump failures in uh, one week. I don't know why. One in the ski and two in personal vehicles. All right, so this is a new one. This is an old one. Now, how you test it, and I'm going to have pictures of the one I filled in the ski. I did it at the shop. I didn't have a camera. You know, I was kind of in a rush. I didn't get that open at all. So, you always want to have a power ring. These are your friends. Like, tools are your friends. This is your best friend. So, I have it connected here to the battery. Uh, this is on the negative post. I'm going to place this here. All right. It spins, it shoots, everything is fine. Now, how did this fail? So, basically, the opening here, that that goes into and goes into this. When I took it out, when I basically was pulling it apart, this here was ripped and this was like basically out like this. So I don't know if that's the reason why, don't know, but the pump works, pump works fine. New one, so I hear a lot of excuses. Not excuses, I hear a lot of complaints about buying pumps from advanced auto parts and everywhere else, and they come DOA, causing more problems, causing you to chase down uh, problems. So, whoa, what was that? Oof, and that's spinning off of <laughs> low voltage crazy because I could have sworn it was 12 earlier but anyways yeah so that's basically how you test your fuel pump um if you want you can uh drop the bottom in like some liquid and place it on the top well put like a uh a hose on the top and see it push the liquid out let's see if I can not blow up or create a mess Oh, that's empty. <laughs> Just that quick. Sorry. Yeah. So, like I said, the pump works. 